What's up, my little tattle tots? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if your name is Miss Bianca Cerceri, you've just been exposed to Kanye's thug missus. Shout out to Kia, y'all. Listen, I believe I was the first one to break the story that Kanye's wife was a mafioso princessa, right? Or however you want to call it. A lot of y'all didn't believe me, but now that every single GD news outlet is breaking the no news, let's clarify a few things. Some of y'all had a lot of pressing questions. How old was Bianca? What was going on? What was her involvement? Y'all, I got the whole family history. Let's get into this. All I got to say is the Kardashians better never, ever, ever, ever talk trash about Black China. When you literally got metal soprano raising your kids. Now, listen, to be fair, let's be real. Kids are not responsible for the actions of their parents. You can't hold them. In no way are we implying that Bianca had something to do with it, but baby, she grew up with the money and she grew up with the lifestyle. But to hold Bianca responsible for what her daddy did will be to hold North responsible for what her daddy did and said, and also <laughs> what, your, what her mama did, said, took, and gave. Do you know what I'm saying? So maybe that's it, right? But let's get into this, okay? So Bianca's dad is Leo Sensori. However, his full name is Elia. E-L-I-A. Elia, Elia, right? He is actually Italian. Bianca's family is Italian. They immigrated in 1960 to Australia. And baby, when they did, they took over what was going on in the Melbourne underground criminal. They took it over like, excuse the pun, gangbusters, right? Her dad is a convicted criminal. Now, this is Bianca's dad right here. I know, this is the same guy that was on vacation in Japan with Kanye. Now, a lot of y'all were like, oh my God, Kanye ain't treating Bianca no better than Kim. I don't know, have you heard who Bianca's daddy is? I would be treating her. This is her dad, his nickname is Leo. His government name is Elia, Elia, E-L-I-A. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. He looks pretty unassuming, but most crime bosses do. Anyway, let's get into this, and baby, a lot of y'all, when I made the video, were like, Tisa, say allegedly. Baby, I'm giving y'all straight facts in this video and clearing up a few too, okay? Because I thought it was Bianca's grandfather. It was her uncles and her dad. But baby, ain't no allegedly in this. This is directly from criminal records, court records, and also major news publications, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, da 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 Okay. Now... The Daily Mail Australia, because they get in everybody's business, but this is actually in court documents. Bianca's father, Leo Sensori, did hard jail time for being convicted in 1982 on a charge of possessing a prohibited import, Aaron, and was sentenced to five years with a minimum of three, okay? So he served hard jail time. Now here's the thing, right? It is unclear whether he's still into the trafficking thing. However, right? He got the the Sensoris also had a gaming empire, amusement park rides, games. People called it a gambling empire. I believe gambling is illegal. Leo still runs that. Okay. Leo is the brother of Eris Sensori, a notorious gangland e e e the leader. Who, who was once dubbed Melbourne's Al Capone. Now, in my first video, I kept saying it was her grandfather because Eris was so much older, but however, that was just Leo's older brother. He had a big family, okay? He was once dubbed Melbourne's Al Capone and he deleted. As a matter of fact, he's the one that really, um, the family didn't have a fall from grace, but they had a few hard times because Eris, got mad. Okay, I'll just say it. He was sentenced to death in Western Australia. Um, uh, he was sentenced for, to death in Western Australia for a deletion, but the sentence was later commuted to life imprisonment. As a matter of fact, I believe uh, five or six years ago, he went up into the parole board and was like, I'm sorry, I'm not a minister to society anymore. May I please come out and play? And the parole world was like, Eris? If you don't get your butt back in that cell, we don't want to hear from you. Okay. Now, the death penalty was abolished in Western Australia in 1984, although the last execution 
uh, took place in 1967. Now, the oldest brother, Edmundo, was known as Eddie Compone and has convictions in Victoria. So they left Melbourne. They were not just in Melbourne, they were in Victoria. Convictions in Victoria for violence, including assaulting police, theft, and threats. Now, how did we find out about all this? How did the empire go down? Because his first wife, Bianca's mama is not his first wife, but his first wife ratted him out. Leo was a, was a gambling kingpin. Okay, he still owns a lot of games and games. Now, I'm not saying he's still in it, but you watch The Sopranos. Anyway, um, da -da 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 -da. as well as uh, Ill or illicit substances dealing, Leo, Bianca's daddy, also has convictions for possession of a bang bang, a hammer, and a fully jacketed and fully jacketed and you know oh my god he let that chopper sing so he mm, he had a eh, 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 like you know like literally anyway um so the daily mail actually went up to bianca's home it was like they live on a compound they got money money they live in one of the most affluent suburbs in all of australia but his current wife alexandra who's bianca's mom refused to comment when asked about her husband's criminal history Leo did not reach out to Daily Mail either. Now, his former wife, Faye, spilled the beans on his illegal gambling empire. She, she's why we know all the business. She told the Herald Sun, which I told y'all, which is a legitimate paper. Now listen, when I speculate and when I give my opinion, I let you guys know. But when I read off the record, can y'all just do a, bit, a Google search? Not y'all, but can people just do a big Google search? It's not like I was speaking in tongue. Anyway, she told the Herald Sun reporter, John Sylvester, that Leo, Bianca's daddy, had been involved in a cartel that controlled a large slice of the lucrative illegal gambling industry in Melbourne during the 80s. At the time, she said her former husband had made a fortune from illegal gambling. He still runs a bunch of game mean stuff. She said, I have seen the money. Mm -mm -mm. She was, uh, he was known in the 1980s as Al Eris, who was known in the 1980s as Al Capone, worked in the pinball industry before he moved to Perth. Leo is still running that pinball industry. Eris, the youngest of the brothers, was sentenced to deletion for the deletion of a Perth waiter named Michael Tadares. He got mad one day as the waiter got smart and he deleted him and that's what messed it up. Um, he started serving the term in Western Australia, but was transferred back to Victoria in 1987 so he could be closer to his family. Ultimately, right? Um, where are we at? Oh, wait, I stand corrected. He was released on parole. Wait, Eris. Eris was released on parole. The other one wasn't. Okay. He was released on parole, uh, in 1999. And now he's gonna spend the rest of his life on parole. Mm, somebody got a kickback. Um, they said, now here's the thing when it comes to Kanye. They said Leo can stack money better than a bait. She said he found she found rolls of money up to forty thousand hidden under their home, and recalled seeing about sixty thousand sitting on the coffee table. He currently resides in a leafy Alf in the in leafy Alphington alongside his current wife, Alexandra, who's the mother of Bianca and her sisters, Angelina and Alicia. Mind you, the, this is the same home he lived with his first wife, the one that said that there was money underneath the home. Uh, da -da 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 -da. He, uh, now here's the funny thing. When it was first, when Kanye first wanted to go to Australia to visit, for some reason he did, and a lot of people were speculating because it was like this and it was that. I didn't know that the police weren't like, who you wanna go see? You wanna go see Leo Sensori? Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, uh, growing up in the well-heeled suburb of Ivanhoe, it's believed Bianca later lived in the 2.8 million Alphington home where her parents still reside. The leafy suburban property sits well away from busy streets, bustling city, and even louder world of media Bianca was thrust into with her marriage to Kanye. The eldest brother of the clan, Eddie, has convictions in Victoria for violence, including assaulting police. Oh, he ain't never scared. Um, he's known as Eddie Compone and has been involved in the amusement machine business in Melbourne and Perth. 
Mind you, Leo, Bianca's father, took over the amusement machine business in Melbourne. Don't that just sound like some mob mess up amusement machine business on some Tony Soprano? He arrived from Italy with his parents in 1960 and has been known to hang around inner suburban coffee bars in Melbourne as a teenager. He was previously given his occupation as a bouncer, laborer, machine operator, fitter, billiard maker, and cafe proprietor. Um, the, so, uh, they went on to say th uh, that the successful Underbelly series alongside fellow uh, there was a so Sylvester the reporter wrote a successful underbelly series alongside fellow Melbourne reporter Andrew Rule revealed Brianka's dad had been marked for death in the 1990s. Leo accepted a police guard when detectives discovered a group of bandits planned to delete him. Police were told a gang intended to delete Bianca's family in the garage of his home and take his belongings from the gambling machines. The gang expected him to be carrying about $60,000 cash. Police guarded Leo even though they knew he was heavily involved in illegal gaming. Sounds like somebody in the police chief was getting a kickback. I don't know. It just sounds like it. Uh, during her 1991 interview, she described him as a heavy criminal figure, saying the police should organize a big raid and confiscate every single machine, every single one. If they took all the machines, there would be nothing for Leo to operate. You would wipe him out. Leo served two of his five-year sentence over the drug charges um, uh, after an Australian federal police raid. She said, I was fighting with him because he was going into the kitchen to measure things using my utens utensils. I didn't like my stuff in the home. It was a nightmare. Um, they divorced after 15 years of marriage. Uh, she said in, in a 1991 interview that Bianca's dad had made a career out of studying gamblers and working out what they wanted. He knows what gets them in. Some players lose large amounts of money and then try to win it back. They never do. She said those machines, ooh, he knows how to bring gamblers in. You think he's giving him, tip gave his daughter tips on how to get Kanye? I'm just saying. Now, I know everybody says Bianca's nice and a sweetie pie, but baby, you don't grow up in a family like this and just be so innocent and not to the ways of the world. That's all I'm saying. If her daddy knew how to reel big fishes in and manipulate people, I don't know. Anyway, right? She said those machines that he still operates make Will Bowers full of money. Some people in Carton love him, but they have to love him. His machines put money in their pockets. They are all creeps. They say that they like him because he makes the money. When he went to prison, none of them wanted to know about it. Girl, I guess not. The block was hot. I see why this girl, they were like, Leo, get her out of here. Um, they said Leo would ne she said Leo would never change his wicked ways. She said I tried to coax Leo into going into legitimate business, to use his money to turn it into white money, to go into something where he didn't have to worry about it. But there is a cr the criminal in Leo. He gets a buzz out of the police trying to catch him, and he beats them by changing the programs and the machines. He gets a buzz out of that. He loves the lifestyle. That's why he'll never change. Y'all listen. y'all thug misses y'all listen we haven't heard any comment from kanye that's nothing again let me just stress this has nothing to do with who bianca is a person half of us don't want to be well i can be held accountable for what my parents did but that said no child is responsible for the sins of their parents because if not all the kardashian kids i'm sorry all the kardashian west kids are doomed by that tape and their daddy's mouth but honestly what do y'all think about this? Does this change the way you look at Bianca? Does this change your web situation? I need to know how much Leo is around Kanye. But that said, they did say that Leo knows how to wash money. He knows. How, they, she said that he can stack money better than a bank. Maybe he's helping Kanye on, this, uh, on his comeback. And maybe he's investing in his new Yeezy Ventures. Y'all, let me find out let me find out anyway y'all let me tell let me talk to y'all later um i'm gonna do a little bit more digging because i wonder if L bianca's daddy invested in uh kanye's new clothing line again i know kanye would need a lot more money he clearly has some big money people but let me find out anyway my little tattletales i'll talk to y'all later bye